Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.34.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is the support for the PSP's backed enum to be rendered on the blade views. I have the latest Laravel version over here and the old Laravel version over here. And you can see here, this one is the laratips.test and this one is laratips old.test. And these are the same projects, just they have the separate domain. And now let me show over here in the home controller, I have this user, I have passed this user over here. And in the user, I have this type, which is user type enum, and it is a bagged enum. It has normal and admin. Now in the welcome blade.php, I am just rendering over here user arrow type and it will actually give us the bagged enum and here in the old also I have done the same thing. So let me go to web welcome.blade.php and here also I'll do the same thing. Now here first of all let me show you what it does whenever we run it on the laratips.old. So let me reload. It will actually throw an error and give us HTML special characters argument one must be type string. But in the latest version of Laravel, whenever I reload, then it will actually render that bagged enum as a string. And you already saw that in the older version of Laravel, we saw this error. And if you want to get notified automatically if these errors occur in your application, then you can use Honeybazer for that, which is today's video's sponsor. It is obvious that we run into some errors. Everyone's code will have some errors even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers. In such case, Honeybazer can be your best friend. Honeybazer allows you to monitor those errors, uptime, check-ins and deployments in real time with easy to use interface. With that, you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website. Then you'll be notified via email, SMS, Slack, and many more immediately. You can easily install Honeybazer in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application, you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors, which will help you to solve the issue much more faster. And thanks to Honeybazer for sponsoring this video. Honeybazer has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a DevOps hero in minutes by using Honeybazer. Now let us move to the second thing which is this sort attribute syntax for self-closing blade components. Before, whenever we did this self-closing on a blade component, whenever we were using this new syntax, then it wouldn't render the data properly. But now it is fixed. Let me show you that as well. Comment this, let me uncomment this one and do the same thing on our original. So this is the latest version. So let me show you that on the latest one and reload then it is actually rendering this username properly. But here in the older version of Laravel, it wouldn't render. And if I show you that over here, then you can see that over here, this X profile, it is rendering this component as it is and wrapping the form which is inside it. It is wrapping whatever the HTML tag just below it and now it's working perfectly fine now let us move to the third and the final thing that has been added which is this ignore case for str contents and str contents all so let me show you that over here in the lara tips old let me uncomment this one and let me run it you can see here it is returning false because capital a is not present over here which means that the comparison done between these is case sensitive but now there is this second parameter if we pass true over here then it will actually compare these two strings by case insensitive but it is not possible in the older version if i run it then it will return false but in the latest version if i just uncomment this and run it then you can see here it will return true whereas for this one it will return false 